400, right? Correct. Uh, so you win it, and uh, and last week when we talked, I felt pretty confident. But you know, there's gonna be some pretty good competition. But uh, how rewarding was it to, I guess, take it back to back? You know, on the 400. It was really rewarding. Like I was actually, um, I was really happy and ecstatic, even more this time than I was last year when I was able to defend my title, just because I knew the pressure was on and. Everyone was coming after me because I was the guy at the top. So in order to, um, and for me to be able to defend my title is really very pleasing. I was ecstatic for it. About it. Do you, do you think as a, a track and field that there's a time of the season when there are runners, athletes that do peak? And if so, do you feel like uh, now is the time for you? Um, there is a time when I'm, a lot of athletes peak, which is usually like right around the middle of the season. Um, I do not personally believe I've peaked yet, just because um, based off of the times I've ran, like each week I'm able to cut a little more and more off of my time from the previous week, so I still believe I'm going to have some more left in the tank. So for you right now, what is it like? I guess it's kind of a, a, a wait, you know, wait and see. I mean, you're, the season you've had, it kind of speaks for itself, but now it's just uh, waiting, huh? Yeah, it's, um, you know, like uh, the coach was telling me, uh, Next week, when the polls come out and the rankings are all said and done, um, hopefully my name is still up there within the top 18, and I'm able to go to Grand Valley State and um, keep running. Now, did you make nationals last year, or would this be your first uh, trip there? This would be my first trip there. Last year, I was point uh, two seconds shy from qualifying to go. So, um, for me to actually uh, achieve that this year was very, it was like a chip on my shoulder, like. It was a chip on my shoulder, and now it's like it's off now. Yeah, what is that like, just being so close, uh, getting a chance to go to Nashville? How much more hungry did that make you this year? It, it, it drove me and it, it drove me and motivated me a lot this year to actually go out there and like push myself just that much harder during practice and in the training room and in the weight room. And um, yeah, it definitely all the work it, it paid off for sure. Uh, for nationals, do you approach it any differently than you would any other meet because it's nationals, or do you have a kind of the same routine that you're going to follow in preparing for it? Um, you, it's hard to say because I've never been, but what I can, I'm pretty sure that what I will do is stick to the same routine that I've been doing. I mean, it's worked up to this point, so there's no really need in, in changing that. Um, so yeah, I just approach it like it's another race. I mean, it's same distance, same amount of hurdles. So I mean, there's no need to really change anything.